Now starting, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey, everybody. Can y'all hear me? I guess you can. I don't know. Kathy, did I turn the whole thing on? I thought I was just showing nope, nope. you guys, but it seems like... It seems, seems, it seems like, like you're good. It yep. seems like I'm naked in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about naked. Okay. Well, hello, everybody. Well, what's up? Yeah. Well, you know, kind of, sort of. I mean, I thought I was, I, I didn't mean to play peekaboo. It just kind of happened there. It was real quick. So, guys, can you raise your hand and let me know that you can hear me? Because that would be very helpful if somebody would, if somebody could. Bob Clark says, yes. Tom DeMeo says, so yes. Be okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. All right. Cool. Put your hand down. I don't need to. What do you, what do you? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome. Good evening. This is another Monday night webinar, Gone Wild, with Diane Hockman and an assortment of crazy people back over here. I have the gorgeous, the scintillating, the sexy. Your, your, your intro's getting better, Kathy. <laughs> hey Kathy. everybody. How do, you, how do you feel about that intro? Um, it, it's getting there, yeah. Diane. It's yeah, it's growing. Tracy, I like what it. What do you want to be? Tracy, Whatever you want me to be. I like it. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy is the effervescent. I don't want to use the same word to describe you as her, so I need to be ever short and yet tall of heart. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Her leaning on her head because she's that short and he's that tall. <laughs> Fabulous! Who I spent the—I uh, was just going to say I spent the weekend with him, but that sounds a little funny. But it's true, I spent the weekend with him. Uh, Duke Romke, who has the coolest name ever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ever. Hi, Duke. Duke, I'm, I'm punching still you waiting until my webinar for my long dad again. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't earned that. You haven't earned it yet. Work your way up, you man. I'm yeah, yeah, work your way up. So, hey, everybody. <laughs> I know you're working on it. Duke, Duke was like a uh, Duke Kathy. Duke worked um, my table uh, during the pro uh, mass uh, pro marketing summit this weekend. Very cool. So Duke has like points with me, big points, big points, big points. He helped me. Ray goes, "You need someone to help you," and I'm like, "Crap, Kathy's not here." And then they went, "Duke's here," and and he just he was awesome. And he played with my my shtick during my presentation. He played along. Um, Kathy, mm -hmm. you have competition. Watch out. Uh -uh. Watch out. I'm not party. worried. He was good. I'm not That's worried. That's worth at least another exactly. word on my description intro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to build it one word at a time. Duke, I'm... All right, you know what? I will work on it, and next week... I will have a better intro if you're available to grace our presence. I work on it. Guys, for all of you that are wondering if you've never been here before, Monday Night Madness, Webinar Gone Wild, we just have a good time. We talk marketing. Uh, you know, I do Q&A. Sometimes I pitch you things and make you give me all your money. Sometimes <laughs> I don't bother to do it all. You never know what I'm doing. But so if you're wondering what the heck is I thought I'm coming to a business webinar, you are. But this ain't your grandma's kind of, well, well it is your grandma. Kathy's your grandma. That's right. Hey, you're, whatever. Hey, you're uplines webinar. How about that? There you go. Right? Right. This is, um. you know, we're hardcore marketers that, you know, our business is our lifestyle. Our lifestyle is our business. We're always having a good time. I've been coming out uh, on Monday nights for I, like six years now. Yep. Uh, it used to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then it was Monday, Tuesday. Now I can only do it Monday night because I got stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. I got stuff. I'm busy. Okay? <laughs> um, so I'm glad you guys are all here. I see a lot of my friends. I see some new people. Um, and then for those of you that I met this weekend um, that I never knew that you came, Ka Ka I met all these people and they were going on and on about Monday nights. And I didn't even know they come to the webinars. So um, yeah. thank you to all of you, the, the secret people. If you hang out on the webinars and I haven't gotten to meet you, um, you know, please shoot me an email, Diane at DianeHockman.com. Hey, I'm a hanger outer. You know, I'd love to give you a shout out. Um, you know, love knowing who's on. Love to meet everybody. So it's, it's always my pleasure yep. to meet you guys. So. I think what I want to do, Kathy, is I want to do news and updates, um, and then I'll ask the crowd. I mean, I have a couple options that we could do tonight. Mm -hmm. It depends on what people feel like. First thing, guys, um, on my blog, dianehockman.com, if you didn't see this, and I probably will put up another post tomorrow. Uh, I really should, since I haven't posted in a few days. 
first of all, guys, if your name, if you haven't given me your name and email so I can send you spam, please do. What is hate spam? You know what I mean? Well, I, well, well, it's like spam people with permission. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, guys, if you haven't seen this, <laughs> if you haven't seen this, this the other day we did, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, this is David Wood, this is me, this is Eric Worre, uh, this is Lisa Grossman, uh, this is, is that Falcone? Who is that? I can't be Falcone, sure that probably, is. yeah. Yeah, it's Falcone. Uh, and this is Mark Hoverson. Oh, it is Falcone. Todd Falcone. Um, this was the meeting of the masters, and it was a major debate, old school versus new school. I mean, Eric Worre and David Woods were going at it about their different techniques. Um, you know, uh, Hoverson, in fact, Hoverson and Eric Worre were going at it over cigars the other night. That was fun to watch. I'll bet. Um, so it's really a great piece. Um, now, I'll give you the, uh, you know, the disclosure we were talking about. Um, the new product launch that's going on that I'm sure you've all heard about, oh, about 10,000 times by now, mm -hmm. futuristic marketing. Um, but that wasn't, I mean, we talked about it, but more in like a debate format, like, you know, like Lisa, who's here. Lisa is, um, Kathy, guess what? Lisa contacted me. We're talking about putting together a women's summit. Oh, cool. Ooh. Ooh. Excited about it. Do you think oh, yeah. when you'll be the token male? But <laughs> I don't know if we're going to let boys in. We'll see. It may be a girls-only slumber party. But, yeah, we're talking about putting together a... Um, oh, that sounds a, great. Because Lisa, who was there, Lisa has been a leader in the industry for years. She's made over a million dollars for the past so many years. She's the secret, quiet consultant in the background that nobody really knows about. But she is um, completely Internet illiterate. <clears throat> so we even brought her in to get her perspective as somebody who has done really well as a businesswoman but doesn't use the internet. And so this stuff, I mean, it's like two, two and a half hours long, the whole thing. Uh, but it's really worth um, catching. Plus, you get to see pictures of my children when they were little. Kathy, did you check these out yet? I saw those. I was wondering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I do. That's Sarah. Uh -huh. And that's Jillian and Sarah, and that's uh -huh. Larry holding Sarah. I mean, Larry holding Jillian. You can't really see, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> so it's really worthwhile catching. Of course, if any of you guys, I, I'm not going to do the drama. I could have brought Mark tonight. Mark Hoverson was more than willing to come in. And I said, I think people are a little overwhelmed. Uh, futuristic marketing, and the link is below this if any of you are interested, um, is it's a great tool. It's not for everybody. But if you've been around the block and you've been doing um, – some marketing and you want new automation and newfangled stuff. It's a window of opportunity. I've made a lot of money because I seized windows. Um, Jonathan is bringing, Jonathan and Mark, I should say, is bringing some technology that was inaccessible. I mean, I looked at this. I looked at all these automated things. David was doing it a while ago, and what he was using, it wasn't that I couldn't afford it. I kind of didn't want to spend it. And the other options that were out in the marketplace, I did buy one. And quite frankly, can I use bad words, Kathy? As long as they're not too bad. Kathy? Yeah. Can you hear me? It's not too bad. It's not not too, bad. too bad? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it, they're, they're not too bad. Quite frankly, what I bought sucked. Okay. Okay, that's so, not so bad. <laughs> um, when you buy the cheap stuff, it's not so bad. But, you know, I'm a mom. It just didn't seem appropriate. Maybe. By the way, um, I used my shtick this weekend. You know how I always do. If you have a complaint, send them to complaints. Oh, did you? <laughs> Kathy will delete them. Well, I did it with Ray Higdon, and he thought it was very funny. Oh, that's cool. Um, so whenever I do something bad, I said, if you have complaints, send them to complaints at rayhigdon.com. Ray will gladly take care of your complaints. Absolutely. <laughs> so anyway, it's worth watching. Futuristic marketing is technology. They made it affordable. They made it accessible. It's got great training in it. I have seen it. I have touched it. I have used it. Um, for those of you that are looking at it, uh, me, Eric, David, and Todd Falcone are working together, and we are offering. <laughs> Everybody's offering forty-five thousand dollars for the bonus, <laughs> you know, and all this other junk. I don't know. We're giving you some good stuff, um, but most of all, we're giving you us. Um, and between David and Eric, Todd and me, I think we're pretty much the whole spectrum of the industry. Yeah. I mean, uh, Eric and, and David are on the far uh, polar opposites, uh, North Pole, South Pole, and then me and Todd are kind of in the middle of the spectrum. I lean towards David and Todd leans towards Eric. But 
Um, and also, if you were to add up the years of experience that we have, I don't know how many it is, but it's a big, big, big number. Um, mm -hmm. It's impressive stuff. So that's enough about that, because I know you wanted to hear more about futuristic <laughs> marketing tonight, and you were hoping I'd talk about it for an hour. Weren't you all? <laughs> because you haven't gotten enough emails or seen enough about it on Facebook, right? <laughs> Okay. What's this futuristic marketing you're talking about? Um, well, it's scary. It's like, <laughs> I know, right? And then my own Tracy Hassel, she's like, I'm going to listen to Jonathan. I'm like, Jonathan's on 24 hours a day. It's the Jonathan channel right now. You really That's need true. to go when I'm doing my show? Come on. No, no, Come no. On. I'll pop on I actually, I actually was going to put you guys gonna, on. But... What are you going to do hang out with Jonathan? Well, I'm actually what hanging out with hang Jonathan. Out with that boy? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's the news on that. Um, guys, the card closes this week. Um, and in all seriousness, the bonuses that we're offering are uh, significant. In fact, um, I'll show you one of them tonight um, if you guys want. So let me take a survey. Well, Kathy, do I have any other news? Oh, for those of you guys also on my blog, dianehockman.com, um, I talked to you guys a couple weeks ago about how I choose my mentors, etc. For those of you that looked at Evan Pagan's stuff, I'm not going to go into the story. If you missed it, don't worry about it, okay? If you missed the story about how I went to a seminar and it changed my life and I got off the plane and I declared and I was going to change my life and yada, 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 and I met Mike Dillard and I met this one and I met Dagan Smith and I became a rock star. That was the story in a 30-second or less synopsis. <laughs> um, but for those of you that were looking into one of my mentor Evan's package, closes out tomorrow. You can get it out tomorrow. Um, and the bonus that I offered for this, I offered two bonuses, which I thought were pretty cool. The first one was Kathy. Yes. I thought this was very cool. The recording of my 12-week summer school, all the recordings of summer school you will get, uh, which people paid $500 to attend. Uh, and Kathy, did I cover some pretty heavy Oh my stuff gosh. There, amazing stuff. Ama mm -hmm. Amazing stuff. Absolutely. Um, everything you yeah. need everything, everything you need to know about, about having your own home business from from the very beginning inception to becoming a rock star. It was it was amazing what you gave those people for five hundred dollars. You know what? I loved the group. So mm -hmm. I probably did more mm -hmm. than I intended mm -hmm. to because they were so smart, such a wonderful group. The bulk of the group, by the way, if you like English accents, we're doing the London Olympic thing right now. If you like English accents, half the group was from the UK that was on these recordings. So, um, so it's pretty enjoyable because they're fabulous. So, um, and so that I offered the 12 week recordings, but get this, here's what I offered. And I know a lot of people get my emails because I tell them that they should open them because I'm generally going to say something important, but some people are just, I'm so overwhelmed, is what they say. <laughs> well, I offered a day with me, okay? I charge a lot of money. If you get the Evan set up, uh, and, and guys, I'm not pitching you. Uh, you should. He's a great mentor. It's an expensive package. This is not for people that don't have money to spend on it or are just starting out. This is not for people that are brand new. This is high marketing. Um, but for people that make that type of commitment, uh, you get to come, you have to travel to me, unless I happen to be on the, like right now I'm in Orlando, I'm seeing a client tomorrow. If I'm on the road and I'm in your neck of the woods, you can take your day while I'm on the road, but otherwise, you come to Connecticut, however you want, plane, train, automobile, hitchhiking, whatever, however you want to do it, we do a whole day, and we just, we just do, basically I'm at your beck and call. You want me to... Uh, craft your narrative, great. You want me to create your funnel, great. You want me to, you know, do the hoops pokey and turn myself around, <laughs> great. But it's the whole day of marketing one-on-one. -on -one. <clears throat> so that's a pretty gosh darn bonus. It's only available until tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. It's. Oh, I always find it funny when I offer these incredible bonuses and then people don't take them and then like a week later they call me up and I'm like, it's 2000 bucks, 2500 bucks. And you could have both things. It's like buy one, get one free. So Absolutely. anyway, that's going on. Ends tomorrow. I'll probably write an email about it uh, to remind people. So does anybody, first of all, does anybody have a question or anything? You can write to me on Facebook. You can go to facebook.com forward slash Diane. Hockman training. Facebook.com forward slash Diane Hockman training. That's my page over here. 
uh, and you can write to me there so I can see it. Or you can write in the Q&A box to Kathy. You can also make fun of me there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to run it and won't see it. If you heckle me, <laughs> please be nice to make fun of me with, with good heart. Um, oh, thank you, Robert. So uh, a couple people said, said hi that I saw over the weekend. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I really don't have a big agenda tonight, but a couple of people asked me, um, by a show of hands, how many of you saw the live stream of the Pro Marketing Summit this weekend uh, that I spoke at? Did anybody see it? You know, Scott did. Did anybody else? One, two, three. Look down. Scott saw it. So, and Tom saw it. Tom blew me off this weekend, Kathy. I know. Mm -hmm. I, I when I saw that. him in Connecticut, we were going to see each other three weekends in a row. Yep. And I was torn because I had a date with both him and Duke, and I was very excited. I thought I'd be in the middle. You know, we could link arms and do, like, the Wizard of Oz dance, you know, <laughs> down, the, uh, down the hotel aisle or whatever. And Tom blew me off. Yeah. He said he'd stay home and watch it on TV or on his computer. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I see how it is. Okay. Tom, I missed you, seriously. We had a great event. It was a wonderful event. Um, some people are asking me, could I go through the training that I did there? And I'm happy to. It's a little bit, I mean, I can condense it because it, it was really an hour and a half presentation. I can condense it down. Um, do you guys want me to do that or do you want to do Q&A? Like some weeks I come in with a total agenda. Tonight I don't have a big one. So either write me on the Facebook page or write in the Q&A box and tell us, do you want to do Q&A? Because one of you guys might have a great question or something to work on. Or I can pull up the PowerPoint and run through it kind of quick. Um, we've got one in the Q and A oh, box saying here. one in the Q and A box already. Two in the Q and A box, um, both wanting you to go through your presentation. So far, three, okay. four. So two people have an opinion. Five. I'll give it another minute. Five. So it's winning. Wait, yeah. Robert wrote over here. Let's see. Okay, this is from. Okay. All right. I say we do it. Even though that's only a handful of the people that are here, but they're saying something. So, Six, awesome. Seven, Let me pull eight, it up. Let's see if we can make PowerPoint nine. work. Kathy, they, they just keep coming okay. in. Everybody saying good. presentation. Kathy Diane. And Duke. Okay, good. Okay, good. Um, Kathy, Duke, Tracy. Kathy and Tracy have been with me for a long time. Duke was there this weekend. So, if you guys have any input or anything you want to do, feel free to just. Um, you know, go, excuse me, I want to make a comment or anything like that. Okay. Um, especially Duke, because he was there. He saw the crowd's reaction. Um, there you go. Okay. I saw you this weekend. Uh, there's my name. You. Isn't that impressive? Okay. That's very impressive. I know. I heard, that, I heard there were problems with the live stream. The internet in the hotel, uh, actually, it wasn't just the internet. The air conditioning in the hotel. For those of you that live in the Orlando metropolitan area, why do you stay here in July and August? I don't understand. I, I just I just don't understand. But anyway, the air condition went down, then the internet went down. It was drama. Drama and saga. Okay. So guys, I, I'm going to talk to you about the power of promotion. Okay. Um, a lot of people know my nickname is Digital Dingbat, coined by Tom DeMeo. A lot of people know I'm not really skilled on the computer. Uh, <laughs> we're in that this weekend, Kathy. I was sitting in the back of the room trying to fix something. I had Thomas Bowman, Ray's, uh, Ray's tech guy, helping uh -huh. me. Everybody was helping me because I'm like a moron. So, um, <laughs> But everybody knows so I've become very, very successful. And the reason why I've become so successful, it was hysterical. It was like moronic. Um, the reason why I've become so successful is truthfully because I'm a great promoter. Okay, Not a cheesy promoter, you know, like step right up, step right up, you know. Um, but I, I'm a great promoter because I understand certain things about how it works and I understand certain things about the marketplace. So here's how it works. It's really plain and simple. Uh, some of you guys have heard me say this. It's so profound. And if you would think about this every single day, it would make you a lot more money. Whoever owns the eyeballs makes all the money. What does that mean? Guys, if you think about it, the Super Bowl is the biggest sports events of the year. And that's when everybody wants to run their commercial, and they're willing to pay millions of dollars for a 30-second spot. Why? It's because the Super Bowl owns the eyeball so big. If you run an ad during the Super Bowl, you're going to get lots of people talking about it before it runs. You're going to get everybody watching it while it runs during the Super Bowl. And then you're going to get everybody talking about it like for a week later. So you get the most bang for your buck 
during the Super Bowl, and of course the advertisers want it, and of course the Super Bowl promoters in the network, whatever network has a Super Bowl, makes all the money. Now we watched the opening ceremonies of the Olympics last Friday night. Did you guys see it? I oh my it. gosh! I was so happy. I was so oh. happy. relaxed and watched it. Wasn't it great? And I just kept thinking. I was just in London, and I just kept thinking of all my friends over there, especially Dorothy and Trish and everybody talking. You know, I know that they're all over there. I can't even imagine the way the fireworks were. The whole city was lit up. Incredible. It was beautiful. But everybody was watching the Olympics, so of course those commercial spots cost a lot of money. So the point being is that if you can collect more eyeballs, you're going to make more money. Most people own no eyeballs. They say something and nobody's listening because nobody's looking at them. So if you want to make more money, instead of getting yourself all confused and trying to learn everything under the sun, that's what I saw this weekend, Kathy. It was just a room full of people, and they were so busy trying to learn everything mm -hmm. that in reality they had learned mostly nothing. Yep. Um, people are jumping around and... You guys hear me going rants about that. But if you want to, if you want to get where you want to go, all you have to do is learn how to get more eyeballs. Okay, and that's what I'm good at. Everybody who knows me knows. Diane starts fooling around on Facebook. The next thing you know, she's got a big fat crowd around her, and I get this thread going. And there's a hundred, two hundred comments, and then I go, oh, by the way, there's a webinar tonight. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like real tricky. This stuff that I do, it's very simple, but it's very tricky. So, and I asked the crowd, because I was getting them all to shout for me, so is there anybody here that wants to learn this? And everybody went, yeah, and then they went, it's not enough, you guys are excited, and then they went, yeah, you know, and all that tavern our jazz, so, okay. So, I'm about, by the way, I'm doing this very casual with you guys, when I was up on the stage, I did the whole dramatic effect, you guys don't get that, you just get sloppy seconds. <laughs> <laughs> sloppy seconds, <laughs> Okay. Just oh, brother. Uh, anyway, <laughs> what I'm about to show you is the easiest way ever to get your business flying. I'm running my presentation. Okay. Uh, but I, and this is very dramatic from the stage. But I want to make you a promise. By the time you leave me today, you will have a whole new seeing, understanding, thinking, thought process about how to make money. But more important, and more importantly, you'll feel as if a huge weight is lifted from your shoulders. If you guys ever watch, you notice how I don't do my webinars the normal way? You notice how I don't do anything the normal way? I don't have that weight. I don't have that pressure. I'm just having a good time. And if you learn to be a promoter, you're actually allowed to. Do you guys realize, and I'm going to put the, let me look at the webinar box for a minute. How many times have I pitched you so far on this webinar? Kathy, I'm hoping they're writing something. How many times have I already pitched you on the webinar? Can anybody say anything? One says two, one says zero, one says three, another one says zero, a two, a two, a two, a three, a one. Uh, one Good. said, okay. Yeah. Point being, yep, yep. Now let me ask you guys the question by show of hands. You're still here, so I'm assuming it was okay. How many of you felt yucky? By the way, I did it twice. I don't think I did it three times. If, if I did it three times, tell me what the third one was. But I did it twice. How many? Some people didn't even know I did it. And how many of you, by a show of hands, felt yucky when I did it? And I'm assuming not that many hands will go up. And you said, well, Bob, it's Bob, you can leave now. Okay, Clark, <laughs> get lost. And by the way, that cucumber was pretty darn impressive. Kathy used to be the cucumber. Did you see Rosemary's cucumber? It's like Rosemary's baby. <laughs> I did. I did. It's <laughs> Kathy, huge. Did you see Rosemary's cucumber? I did see it. Yes, I did. I didn't. I've seen zucchinis like that, but I've never really. Duke, did you see Rosemary's cucumber? Not yet. I don't think so. I'm I'm thinking that she Did, she she grew the you English. Show a little on Bob's wall. It's it's a, but it looks so chubby to be an English cucumber. Um, yeah, it, I don't know. It did we'll look chubby. Mary to give us a gardening yep. tip. Yep. It looked chubby. Oh, so excuse me, Kathy Diane. Used to be the cucumber queen. Diane. Rose... It's it's an Armenian what? cucumber. What? It's an Armenian cucumber. 
Okay. At some point, when we have more time, somebody will explain to me what the heck an Armenian cucumber is. <laughs> All I know is I'm coming over to Bob's house for salad because he's got fresh grown salad. Um, in any case, guys, I'm hoping that it didn't feel yucky because what I was doing was instead of I wasn't really selling, I was promoting. And when you promote, what happens is people that have an interest go look, and people that don't, don't, and they don't feel yucky, okay? And that's how I've done so, so, so well. That's how I sell so much stuff. I want people to feel comfortable. If they're interested in buying a product, I want them to be able to go look at it, ask me a question, you know, whatever. I offer great bonuses. I want people to feel comfortable. And so the art of promotion is just a lot more fun than selling, okay? And I'll be truthful, when I speak from the stage and I'm making an offer, I get a little nervous because I'd rather promote and have fun than actually sell. Um, I'm getting better at it, but it's not my area of expertise. I've just been a promoter all these years. So let's see if we can get this thing going again. So let's get down to business. Okay, there is my glamour shot, in case any of you have not seen it. That is me looking mighty sexy in 1999. I am at the Play Place in McDonald's, finishing off all the chicken McNuggets that my kids didn't eat because they got excited and they're going in the jungle gym. Um, and all of, I got started in this industry because my cousin sold me some um, diet lotions and potions. No lotions, just uh, shake mix and stuff like that. And um, and then he invited me to a meeting, and I thought I was going to like a Weight Watchers thing, and we were going to talk about our feelings and learn about how to count proteins and carbs or something. And instead, it turned out to be an opportunity meeting, and that's how I got into the industry. Most of you guys know that. Um, and you know, this is really what everything was all about. When I saw this, and I decided to do it, we were broke. We were forty thousand some odd dollars in credit card debt. And I wanted to be home with my kids. Now, at the time, they were three and six. This is last year, so uh, I don't know how old they were here, but they're, they're 16 and 19 now. This is Jill, she's 18, so this is a year ago. But it was like a picture with all four of us in it. I wanted to be home with my kids, and I wanted to, you know, have this great family life. I wanted to stop, you know, having to travel to work and all this other stuff. So I decided to get into the industry. Kathy, weren't they good flowers I got, Jill? Good flowers. They were very pretty. Are you here? They yeah, are, Tracy, aren't they? I thought they were nice. She's muted. She's probably got yeah. a thing going by or something. She does. So here I was, guys. You've got to understand my background. Yeah. My background, uh, I had no sales background. I was broke. So I had no sales in this arena. I had no money. No money. Like, I had no money. When I say I had no money, I mean I had no money. Okay, guys, I was being called by bill collectors, etc. The only thing I had was desire. Um, and I learned early on that the skill that seemed to pay me the most was to be a promoter. Okay? I didn't have money to advertise. I couldn't buy leads because I didn't have any money. And I needed to learn how to promote because I wasn't real good at talking yet. So I had to get people in front of people that could. And what happened was in 2000, I met a man named Alan Lorenz who was making more than $300,000 a month. The, the true story of what happened was I had qualified for a, um, I, I had learned some skills and I had qualified, I became a great promoter and I had qualified for a special trip and every time I come to Orlando I get emotional because it was a trip to, uh, we went to an event here in Disney World, it was the Swan and the Dolphin. For those of you guys that don't know, I am in Orlando right now for the whole week uh, between two speaking engagements. So I qualified for this party, and it was this black tie affair. It was a very big deal. It was the first time I'd gotten to go to one of these things. And of course, they had convinced me at the time, if I just went to the party and rubbed elbows with the millionaires, you know, I would get rich. But I was broke, because even though I was making some money in my program, I was paying off all the debt. And I had no money to buy a dress to go to that event. And I literally bought a dress on a clearance rack in JCPenney for 20 some odd dollars. Okay? So I was very self-conscious when I went to this party. And what they did was they had a bus that would pull up and it took us from the hotel to uh, Epcot, because we were going to see fireworks at Epcot. And we're all in black tie. And I'm here with people that literally made millions and millions and millions of dollars. 
and all these very successful people, and there's me trying to keep, you know, my face, real, you know, thinking about the fact that I'm wearing a $26 dress. I got on the bus, and I sat next to Alan Lorenz, and he's English, fabulous, $300,000 a month, no kidding. And he said to me in his fabulous English accent, he said, why would you do all the work, darling, when you can just promote? You're supposed to laugh. My English accent is pretty bad. So they're not laughing. They're not Sorry. Here. You got to hear me? I hear you fine. You're fine. I got a job, man. I'm sorry. I want Clark to come over here because he'll he'll laugh at my stuff. Yeah, okay, Tracy. You wanted to go see Jonathan Bud tonight. I know you're disappointed that you're here. I understand. So I'm sorry, Diane. I had just, I had to meet. And he myself. told me about all his travels around the world, and he would. It's okay. Okay. Not really, but anyway, <laughs> this guy totally impacted my life and my business. <laughs> Alan really, I, I will always hold a place in my heart because the reason why he was making so much money, and Alan, by the way, if you asked Alan anything, he was one of the top people in the company making $300,000 a month. If you asked him anything about any product, he had no idea. If you asked him anything about anything, the only thing Alan knew was what the event schedule around the world was. He had it all printed out, every country and every city, so whoever he met, he'd ask you about four questions and he would promote you into an event and he would sign up hundreds of people. So that really impacted me, and what I decided to do, I, this is what I call it. How many of you guys remember Julie, your cruise director, by a show of hands, who remembers the love boat? Mm -hmm. And of course, I, I made fun of Duke show. from the stage this weekend, Kathy, yeah. because Duke was not born when the No, boat he was wasn't. So good. I'm glad some of you remember it. The rest of, Mr. Sims is here. Hey, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Ramon. I don't know if Ramon is here or Bill's here, but you guys are awesome. I loved seeing you this weekend. Um, so anyway, and guys, I'm sorry you're sitting through this again, but I just thought I'd do it for the people that weren't at the event. Um, so I decided to become Julia Cruise Director. What does that mean? People would come. The Love Boat was the story of, it was a TV show that was on every week. and It was about the story of a cruise ship. And at the beginning of every show, you'd see all the new characters come on. And Julie would be standing there with her clipboard telling everybody where the different events were, where this was, where you could go play shuffleboard, where you could eat, where you could go dancing. Uh, there was, you know, the belly flop contest on the pool decks I and mean, whatever. <laughs> so Julie didn't do any of the work. She didn't make the drinks. She didn't, you know, press the towels. She didn't make the food. Julie just pointed at where the things were that other people had done the work for. And I thought that was really cool. So I learned to point. I pointed at events. Today I point at products. I just did it to you guys twice today. I pointed. Now when somebody gets on a love boat, maybe they want to eat at the buffet or maybe they want to eat in the dining room in a, in a cocktail dress. And it's up to them to pick Julie points, and then they pick what they want to go to. And that's really been a philosophy in my business. You guys probably noticed if you've ever talked to me on the phone and you tell me what your problems or you know, things you need are, I'm always just pointing, 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 because I'm Julie, your cruise director. I'm not here to sell you. I'm not here to get you. I'm not here to convince you. I'm just here to point shuffleboards on the Lido deck at 3 p.m., <laughs> etc. So I don't know if you guys get that. If you don't get the reference, it may not work. But for us older folks, it's fabulous. Okay. Um, and then the other thing that I figured out is in the beginning. Now, not later on. Later on, as I progressed, I wanted full control of my business. But in the beginning, and by the way, the reason why I put out the mouse trap is because I laid out the cheese. Okay. When I'm being a promoter, okay. Like for example, I just told you about my mentor Eben. I'm sitting here. And I'm going, you're over there. This is what he does. Go look at him. I lay out the cheese. This is what he taught me. This is what I learned from him. Here's the cheese. And then you go look. If you buy something, I'm the middleman. I just put out my hand and I say, pay me, baby. <laughs> I learned promoting made me a lot of money while I was learning. Now, when I do a conference call, one of the reasons why I do the conference calls and the webinars as I do today is because I got so tired of the cheese, uh, the, the cheesy calls. How many of you guys have been to call, hello, say your name and where you're calling from. We're so excited to have you here today. It's going to be an absolutely incredible call. Oh, you're calling from Louisiana. I love it. Oh, you're calling in. Australia's calling in. Down under in those. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely 
absolutely incredible. We have a very important person coming on to speak with us tonight. We're so lucky that he's available with us tonight. He's available like at 10, 12, 4, 6, 11, and now. You know? but, but we, you know, and they'd always do this cheese, and it's like incredible, and everything's incredible. And I did it, and I did it well, and I practiced it over and over and over. I could do presentations, you know. And, it's, it's, and not only that, it's absolutely incredible, because when you get started today, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and you can come to our next exciting regional event that's going to be going on in Seattle. You know, I couldn't do it anymore. But I made a bunch of money pointing at people that could do it. Okay, and I want you guys to understand: being a promoter is being a money maker, especially while you hone your skills. So in the beginning, I pushed the people to look at people who were good speakers. Then I became a pretty good speaker myself. I used to do these opportunity meetings all the time. Okay, and I learned it, and I did it, and I was successful. Nowadays, I just I just don't care no more. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just having a good time. The internet came, social media came, and I realized that I could be totally authentic and totally me, and I didn't have to be a cheese ball, and people would still show up. So it was pretty cool. But um, being the middleman is awesome, okay, as you're learning and growing. Eventually, you'll become the presenter. By the way, whoever's at the front of the room, whoever's on the stage, whoever runs the calls makes all the money. And you need to know that. You should write that down. Whoever is at the front of the room makes most of the money. And you have to decide that you're going to become that person. But to hone that skill is going to take a little while. So while you're waiting to hone the skill, be the middleman. You'll make some money right now. So hopefully you understand that. By the way, guys, you can type questions in the Q&A, and Kathy will send them to me in a little bit. So what happened is I learned all this stuff, and I learned to promote, and I started to make money. But then around 2005, 2006, social media came, and my world flipped upside down. It was incredible. <clears throat> my friend Jerry called me up. He said, you've got to do this thing called a vlog. I said, what is a vlog? It's just a vlog. Vlog. It's like a vampire. Come to suck your blood. So it's like, I come to make a video. You know? so, and I resisted for a little while. I'm like, okay, I can make a video. So I started making videos. And it's pretty cool. So... All of a sudden, I had a promotion platform that had never existed before. Think about it, guys. Back when I started, webinars didn't exist. Teleseminars barely existed because a phone bridge cost thousands of dollars a month, and nobody had unlimited long distance. People wouldn't call. They would always be like, is it a toll call? There's a, people under the age of 30 don't know what a toll call is, Kathy. Yeah, I, yeah I know. That is messed mm -hmm. up. We don't even, we all, and then we all got newfangled and we had 800 numbers for people to call and learn about our business. We don't need an 800 number anymore. Mm -mm. Think about mm -hmm. it. Mm -mm. Because nope. almost everybody's got a cell phone with free minutes for this and sell to sell minutes and this to this minutes. So all of that stuff that was an issue, that was a hurdle, that was a big expense when you didn't have money, it didn't exist anymore. I could run rampant. It was free. I had a promotion platform that had never existed before, and it allowed me to promote to thousands and thousands and thousands of people for the first time in my business, and boom, things went wild. We had autoresponders with unlimited email. When I started, an autoresponder was over $100, and you could spend four letters. Now, an autoresponder is like 30 bucks, and you can send like a gazillion letters. We had no video. We had no streaming audio. YouTube, if somebody had said to me, hey, in a couple of years, you'd be able to you know, do a, a promotional video, put it online, and thousands of people can watch it for free, and it won't cost you anything to do it, I would have been like, yeah, right. If somebody had said to me, you can walk around with a cell phone and make videos with your cell phone, I'd be like, what's a cell phone? <laughs> you know, so. I mean, really, think about it. I, I know. I Cell phones existed, but they were these big, clunky. Remember the flip phones? They were really cool. Oh, I've oh, got one more than that. Remember the very first ones that you had to carry a literal briefcase? Because well, the it was like a, you, had a, you had a shoulder strap. It was like a yeah, handbag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so everything went wild, 2005, 2006. Um, and if you guys go back my, on my blog at dianhockman.com, you can find content dating back to 2006. If you go to YouTube, you can see I joined in 2006. I started making videos at the beginning of 2007. My business went wild, and here's what happened. And, and, and by the way, everybody knows that when I do animations on PowerPoint, because I can barely do a PowerPoint to start, <laughs> if I have animations at all, you have to do ooh, ah. Can you guys do it? 
Because mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't teach the audience this weekend, Duke. I usually do if there's any animations involved. So what started to happen is I got to be really, really, really well known, and everybody started calling me, and everybody wanted to learn how to do this. And all of a sudden, there was like uh, network marketing gurus calling me up to ask my advice. I'll never forget these days. Different people called, and it's like, hey, Diane, and blah 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 blah. I saw you on MySpace or whatever. I saw you on YouTube, and I really wanted to get your advice about something. And all of a sudden, I became this authority. It was mm -hmm. pretty cool. So what happened is they put me on the cover of a magazine, which is pretty cool. Ooh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> another one. Then they put me on the cover of another one. Then they put me on the cover of another one. And all of a sudden I had all this credibility. Wait, Kathy, it's getting really good. Get excited. Get ready. I'm, I'm excited. Get yourself. So then the next thing I know, everything was barreling. It was getting wild and crazy. I'm at the top of the leaderboards, the top of the leaderboards. I have commission notices, you can't see, but commission notices coming in like crazy, top of the leaderboard again. And people were giving me testimonials and screaming how great I was and how incredible I was. And then they started doing big industry-wide launches. This is cut off, but I was the, the last big industry-wide launch. I was number eight in the whole industry. And I was the member of the month. And then they said, come and speak on our stages. And they put me up on stages. And then they said, come on, my company said, come on, come speak at our event and then we went on Kathy you're in there then we won cruises <laughs> and then we trips to I like that one and I pushed the button I didn't mean to previous now before I move on do a big ooh and ah for the whole thing it was pretty it was it was it was avalanche. it was amazing it was cool. Diane I am yeah. I am awesome. I'm very impressed when you learn to suck up to me like these two do I will pay you handsomely uh, I'm telling you by the volleyball net what was that the awe I got distracted looking at the volleyball net yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was he was speechless, Kathy. Speechless. Well, there you go. I gotta tell you though, the the Q and A box is going absolutely mm -hmm. crazy with oohs and ahs and <laughs> wows. And, I mean, people are people are impressed. <laughs> I love you guys. I, I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> That's my PowerPoint prowess. It may not come out for another year or so. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to say I'm good at it, but, you know, it's just one of those things. But we know. So anyway, now, here's the thing. I did it. I wish I could have done the presentation this way, at the, but it was like the Ray Higdon event, and I had to be all formal. And then, like, Tim Irway, Tim Irway gets up there, and he does whatever he wants. But he's Tim Irway. So. Exactly. Anyway, look at this. Mitt Romney at the Wailing Wall. I'm sorry, my TV's on over there. I'm just, come on. Anyway, don't get me going. Um... <laughs> I'm not political. I just, okay. I did all of this with no SEO, no Google pay-per-click, no buying leads, no bugging friends and family, no Facebook or YouTube pay-per-click, uh, no opportunity meetings, and no calling strangers. Ta-da. And this weekend's the very first time that I'm revealing all of my promotion secrets in public, except for you guys. You guys have been hanging around, so you've heard some of them. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And... I'm sharing for the first time my new product, the Promotion Profit Machine. I did make this available over the weekend. Um, we're, we're putting the product together because we're probably going to launch it through one of the big venues that I work with. Um, I'll show you what it is, but I'm really doing the training now. But if any of you guys want it, you can have it now. Um, but there is no affiliate mechanism. Somebody was asking me because they watched the live stream, can I sell it, can I promote it now? There's no affiliate mechanism right now. There will be. Um, so if any of you want it, I'll tell you what it is. Great. If not, hang tight because it will be launched probably with MLSP, um, and we'll be able to go through that so you guys can earn money. But if you want it now so you can use the secrets, you can do that. So anyway, while most people were focusing on the minutia, the, 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 you know, how to, I'm thinking in the past, you know, when WordPress came out, it was very complicated and people, I remember people telling me I wasn't cool because I didn't have a WordPress blog because my mm -hmm. first blog was a blogger blog. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't care, I'm making money, leave me alone. Shoo, 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 go away, you know. Everybody's focusing on the minutia of the this and the that. And in the meantime, I was focusing on the big picture in a very sweeping way. Everybody who told me that, by the way, back then, and would sit and pick apart my, like, I had one person contact me and told me my video production values. My video production values were subpar. Oh, boy. Those were the exact oh, words. Dear. Oh, boy. My video production values were subpar. And for, you know, a significant amount of money, 
they would teach me how to use Sony Vegas and change my production values so that I would look more professional and be more attractive. Please. I said, get away from me. I don't have time for that. Because I was, I was focusing on the big picture. And it's funny because I look back now and speaking at all these big events and all these different things and magazine covers and all this other junk. And by the way, do I think I'm a big deal? No, I'm sitting here, you know, whatever, hanging out. Uh, I just think that I, I, I know secrets. I just think that I learned uh, a system. I think that anybody could do it if they wanted to. In fact, I'm watching a couple do it right now. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty stunning to watch. But the stuff worked like crazy. And most of the people that gave me a hard time back then, they're still back there. They're not making any money, you know. So there's a caveat, though. All of these secrets, all the promotional stuff and everything, it's not for people who don't think that they deserve wild success. Because all of it involves kind of attracting a crowd and, and getting people around. So if you have, like, self-value issues, you don't think you deserve things or anything like that, none of this will work for you. So you really have to examine yourself as you start to go into this stuff if you're struggling. Because uh, Kathy, yeah. Kathy was just number 12 in an industry-wide uh, launch, beating many top players with much bigger lists than her because Kathy has learned the secrets. Kathy has a new column coming out uh, or a new feature coming out in What's Working Now, which is a publication of magnetic sponsoring. It's happening. Kathy's getting inside the magazine. She hasn't gotten the cover yet. It's only a matter of time. Mark my words, by the way. You can yep. report that I said that. Yep. Um, so these things, but Kathy, any of the stuff that I taught you, was any of it complicated? <laughs> Not at all. No, no. Not. It was, it was, if I could use a, a, a very common, it was stupid simple. <laughs> yeah. But do you remember when you couldn't execute them, even though it was stupid simple, because in your yep. mind you weren't quite ready yet? Yep. I, I totally okay. remember, and I remember the difference it made when... I had a shift in my mindset. All of a sudden, everything just started breaking through. That's why you have to start with the promotion where you promote someone else or an entity or a company or something, where you just kind of rustle around and get the people in front of someone because you can make some money and some cash flow that way. But when you're ready to step up all the way and use all the techniques, you have to be ready because people are going to show up and money is going to show up. Uh-huh. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> So it's pretty amazing. Um, it's pretty amazing stuff. Um, so <laughs> I'm just looking at this now. It's cheesy when I'm not doing it on a stage in front of a big crowd. So would you guys like a few nuggets that you can use today? <laughs> Do you want some ways to get eyeballs? <laughs> that is pretty cheesy, Diane. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, wait, there's more. Um, Four free steak knives. See what happens when I, try to, when I try to do the fancy crap? Anyway. Um, <laughs> everybody's like, everybody's like afterwards, they're like, ew, eyeballs. I said, I know, but it made me memorable, didn't it? And they were like, yeah. Like, you'll never forget me because I said weird stuff like this. I said, you'll also think of me every single January because of the Super Bowl. And you'll also think, you know, and I gave them all these things that I embedded into them. And they were like, wow, how'd you do that? So anyway, guys, let's talk about um, some simple, simple promotion. Um, and those of you that follow me and follow, you know, my tightest people, You'll notice if it's Monday, we're promoting. Mm -hmm. Now you're always going to notice us going. There's a webinar tonight. There's a webinar tonight. Tracy does it. And Kathy does it. Everybody is doing what we call pre-promotion. Okay. If I'm going to speak in an event, I'm pre-promoting. I've been pre-promoting. Live the dream. It's coming up in October. By the way, very soon, Kathy, I will be announcing our secret bonus for the folks that. Oh, cool. Get tickets through my link. Um, we've cool. made arrangements this weekend. I have spoken to the secret person, and we will be announcing that very soon. I also Yay. know that I'm going to be speaking on a webinar coming up on Wednesday night. Very um, cool. So I'm already promoting an event that's going to happen in October. I'm also promoting an event that's happening in Scotland in September. I'm also promoting an event that's happening in San Diego in November. Okay. I'm pre-promoting about what's coming up. If I know there's a launch coming up, if I know there's a product coming out, if I know that something exciting is going on, if I had known about Rosemary's Cucumber ahead of time, I would have talked about Rosemary's Cucumber. By the way, at the end of the webinar, I will show you Rosemary's Cucumber. It is like Rosemary's Baby, but bigger. Anyway. <laughs> By the way, 
say Bob is usually my victim, but tonight it's Rosemary. She's probably going to be offended at me. <laughs> oh. Bob, has Bob written anything in yet? Am I in oh, trouble? Oh, only that he had to leave briefly to go get his Fig Newtons. <laughs> <laughs> the big Fig Newton. Okay. Anyway, pre-promotion. It's always free. Let's say you guys have something. You have a new product coming out at your company. You want to start teasing and pre-promoting. Like, sick and tired of all the wrinkles around your eyes? Stay tuned. Whatever your product line is, you know. Um, new, new tactics to reduce your taxes being announced this September. Make sure you're on my list. Make sure you pick it. It's pre-promotion. We're teasing them. We're getting people to go, what is it? What is it? What is it? Okay. Promotion is when the actual, whoops, I did, I'm, t I'm showing you all the secrets and the things and I'm hitting the wrong button and I'm messing up and everybody knows everything because they have, see, I can't run everything. Everybody <laughs> knows what the next thing is. We're going to talk okay. about exotic dancers on the next slide, Kathy. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It won't go backwards. Jeez Louise. Are you afraid? Dude, my computer's broken. <laughs> Try the buttons at the bottom left, the arrows. Yeah, I see them. They're kind of hard to see. No, that's not the right button. I got the right arrow. Oh, there, you the go. Arrow. there you hey! go. There you go. That's why we keep Duke around. He's got that good looking and he's that smart, you know? Good looking and smart. It's a deadly combination. No kidding. And we keep Kathy around in case he gets tired and he needs I mean, not Kathy, uh, Tracy around so he can lean on something when he gets tired. Yeah, I'm good for that. <laughs> why you guys didn't take that picture together is beyond me. I have me. no idea. Are, you're going to be there next now. week, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, p picture is necessary. Yes, um, it is. Okay, so promotion is when something is actually going on. Like this weekend, I was at Ray's event down in Orlando. During the event, I was pumping out pictures. I was pumping out, you know, tweets and Facebook posts about how great it was and what was going on. Okay, during the event or during the specific product launch or during the you know, whatever's going on, we're doing it right in the moment, okay? And then post is right after. I, you know what I keep doing? I keep thinking I'm, I'm you know how I type, mm -hmm. Kath, and then mm -hmm. um, yep, and you're and clicking. I'm trying to highlight it, but I'm in PowerPoint. Yep. So I keep trying to make it blue, and I can't make it blue. So post promotion is after something like I just got back from the, the pro, uh, pro marketing summit, and I'm going to give you information about what happened. And that after effect makes people want to come to the next thing or being involved in the next thing. So if I sat here and did pre-promotion, pre promotion and post-promotion on you properly, and I'm explaining it now, but if I did it to you properly, it would make you want to come to an event with me. It would make you want to get involved with me. It would make you want to be a part of all the fun or part of all the money making or whatever we're, mm -hmm. we're promoting. Okay. Does anybody have a question on pre-promotion, promotion, and post-promotion? All you have to do is watch my folks, and you'll learn about it just by watching. If you watch me, I'm always pre or promoting or post constantly, and a lot of times things overlap. I was just going to say sometimes all three at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, and if anybody has a question, I'll take them at the end. I can even unmute you. Like if somebody wants an example, you can tell me about what's going on in your business. I could show you how you use this. This is extremely valuable. Guys, if you are part of a network marketing company, I'm telling you now, if you learn to be a good promoter and you get people in seats in your events, your income will go up. Every time you get more people at an event, the more money you'll make. And if you learn how to get 100 people into seats at a big, a big event, you're going to make multiple six figures. Mm -hmm. Now you can sit and play with your Facebook pages and you can sit and play with your blogs and worry about the fact that TweetDeck or no, what was it today? HootSuite mm -hmm. stopped automatic posts today, Kathy. I and know, I saw was that. All tizzy. It was all tizzy. <laughs> You'd have to stab me before I'd automate my posts. It's so inauthentic. So. Yep. But everybody was all a tizzy re reprogramming their HootSuite. <laughs> of course, they lost all this time and money because they weren't promoting and they weren't selling. That's they right. were busy reprogramming Hootsuite. So I got Hootsuite, and I couldn't figure out how to program anything right away. And I, if it was going to take me more than a half an hour, I was out of there. There you so go. I was out of there. Yep. That was it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Hootsuite. You guys no, 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 no. Just... But my point is that half the industry lost the whole day today. Yep. I, on the other hand, made a boatload of money today. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what it's all about. 
So anyway, pre-promotion, promotion, and post-promotion. And then here's another promotion tip. Everything, and I do mean everything, is exotic. So what, what people are doing, they like reality TV, okay? They like to see what's going on. They like to get nosy. In fact, I showed you guys on the blog, there was the pictures from the live stream that me and Eric did. And people were writing to me during the live stream asking about the pictures behind us. They were asking about the decor in Eric's house. They weren't, they weren't so much interested in the business stuff. They were listening. <laughs> mm -hmm. They got real nosy. They were like, oh, is that your daughter? Oh, is that this? Is that, oh, where's that brick wall in your house? They were trying to visualize like, what my house and my environment is like. The more you show people your environment, the more excited they get. So, for example, I'm down here. I just drove past SeaWorld today. I should have taken some pictures, you know, mm -hmm. like SeaWorld sign or whatever. Um, if you have animals, you should take pictures with the animals, with their dog, cats. If they're farm animals, it's even better. If you live in the middle of the city, like I'm always yelling at Shantae, she commutes into Manhattan. She's in Rockefeller Center every day. Hello, how many TV shows are there about 30 Rock? Mm -hmm. There's a show, there's a comedy about 30 Rock. There's mm -hmm. Rock Center, which is a news show. She there every day. She should be using that in her promotion. You should be letting people see your kids. You should be taking pictures of what you made for dinner. I know that sounds weird, but what happens is the more eyeballs that are constantly checking you out, you train them. It's like Pavlov's dogs. You train people. This person is interesting. This person stimulates me, not romantically. Okay, kids, take it easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to say the other word other than romantic, but I'm being, I, I have to make up for saying sucked before, so. Um, <laughs> well, now you've said it twice. I know. That's, so that's now you got to make up again. It doesn't count because I was referring to something else. It's like okay. you say a bad word in the lyric. Like, like when I was a kid, I used to like to sing, she's a rich girl and she's going too far because you could say bitch and you're not allowed to say that in real life, but it was a lyric and so I could get away with it in front of my mother. So I would sing it really loud and then when she would get, give me the look, she'd give me the look. They go, but mom, it's the lyric, it's just a song, there's nothing I can do. She'd get, go to your room. So, <laughs> everything's exotic and the that. more the people look at you, the more you train them to be looking at you all the time because you're interesting, the more they'll look at you when you say, hey, we're having a webinar tonight, or hey, there's a you know brand new product, I have samples. If you're not interesting because you're just a human commercial, it's 90, pl 90 days. You can do it in 90 days. Here's another person who did it in 90 days. Not mocking a company. I'm just saying it's just gets like tired. Right now, futuristic marketing. We're in the middle of a launch, and it's all futuristic all day. It's like you, you become immune to it. Uh huh. And I'm putting out pictures of uh, mangoes and stuff, you know, just like <laughs> weird pictures. Yep. And what happens is people are very interested in that, or I'm writing unusual things. Then when I say hey, here's a business thing, they're already used to listening to me, mm -hmm. and now they show up. I don't know if you guys get that, but everything's exotic. Do not discount where you live, what you have. Like Kathy lives by a, a train. Trains go by her house. She lives in this beautiful, cute little town, and she happens to live somewhere where you hear the trains go by. And of course, when she's on a webinar and I'm the hostess or whatever, she's very polite and she knows it's coming. She always mutes out. But I think that when Kathy does her own, that should be a trademark. That when the train comes, the train comes. Yep. And she should, you know, people should hear that because it's kind of neat because you can picture her in this little picturesque, uh, cute town, and the train comes by so many times. It's like Petticoat Junction, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but yeah. <laughs> it is. Come on. And and you're right. You know, Diane, when when I do my own webinars, I I can't mute, and we just you know laugh and giggle and listen to the train, and yep. you know. Everything is, because I think having a train go by and hearing it like that, that's exotic. When you were a little kid, everybody loved to see a train go by. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm taking a tip for you guys. Use your smartphones. Take pictures. Write interesting things. If you are of a specific nationality and you make certain kinds of food, share those ideas. Share this stuff. Don't be a walking, talking salesman 24 hours a day. Be exotic. Be interesting. And then you can go out and promote your stuff. And if you're exotic, what will happen is your promotion will be much more really cool. So anyway, guys, the, the product, um, 
what it is is it's called promotion pivoting, which I think is a pretty darn good name, Kathy. I do too. Um, and it's how to attract a crowd and more money, all with low cost and no cost methods that will not cause you to look like a marketing moron. <laughs> like a lot that. of people, what happens is they want to do it for free. You know, and I, I don't blame them. I had no money when I started. So they want to do their marketing for free, but what they do is they turn into an, what I call an MLM parrot, and they just run around copying and pasting. Don't be a wussy. Don't be a wussy. Don't do this. Do this. 90-day challenge. Uh, you know, um, there's another new one out where everybody's repeating the same thing, and they're saying it over and over and over. And what happens is the guys that tell everybody to, to say stuff, they, they do really well. But the people, the, the thousands of people that are running around just copying and pasting, they, they look like morons, yep. and they become invisible. Yep. They become invisible. Mm -hmm. So these are promotion techniques that can get more people, more eyeballs in front of what you want them to see, more people in front of your presentations without causing you to look weak, without causing you to look like you don't know what you're doing. Um, when I promote, I'm always doing something interesting, something outrageous, something... Uh, that makes people stop and stare, or what we call, we, I scratch their record, I make their brain skip. Mm -hmm. Oh, what does she have to do tonight? I, I hate her webinars, but I guess I better go. Because you don't want to miss anything. Yeah, people, exactly. It's like kids. Nobody wants to miss anything. That's right. So I'm, I'm basically, I'm laying out every trick I use. Everyone, whoever owns the eyeballs, makes the money, okay? Promotional, pro, uh, promotional, profit machine, what it does is it gives you stuff. There is no technology. There is no cost. It's things you can do to get eyeballs now. Uh, six models. Guys, I, I was teaching a lesson. Now I'm going to tell you about this. It's technically really not for sale. I don't know if that makes sense. It's, well, it's not, Kathy. It's I, like, know, I know, but I think it's, yep, it's not yep, all done. I know, I know. Um, but, I'm, but I'm giving you the stuff that I covered this weekend because I want you guys to know what's going on, what's coming. And again, if somebody desperately wants it now, I'll show you where you can get it. But it's not all. And I'm going to do the. Actually, the people who get it now will get um, stuff that they people who get it later won't get. Um, because there's um, Q and A's and stuff that the people later won't get. So. Mm -hmm. um, but you learn promotional techniques for online and local marketing, getting free press, print, and radio. You guys saw I've been on the cover of magazines. I've been on an assortment of radio shows, obviously podcasts and stuff like that. Next Sunday, I'm on a national home business radio show. It's the longest standing uh, home business radio show in the, in the country. I'll be on that. Um, Twitter promotion uh, and how to get leads off of Twitter. Uh, I can go on. Uh, by the way, Kathy, remember when I was at last class of summer school or whenever it was, was showing how to get leads on Twitter really quick? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That guy, I was just demonstrating some stuff. That, that I, I wrote to one guy. He wrote back, and yes, he opted in. Of course. Now, I didn't have time to do more, but it's, it works like clockwork, Yep. that stuff. Facebook promotion, YouTube promotion. Guys, most people have no idea how to promote on YouTube. They just think, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to upload it. How many of you guys have made a video and it's gotten like three views? Four, because one's from your mother. <laughs> Mom made a video, look. Oh, it's so nice. I'll send it to Aunt Sally. We're all proud of you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, YouTube promote. It's, it's true. It's true. Yeah. I know. That's why, that's why it's so funny. Is because it's true. <laughs> and, then, and then it's cute because everybody like they do it. They do a couple, and then they get all upset, and then they call me. Mmm. He likes me. I'm so upset. I think I'll go eat mud. <laughs> like, you're not promoting your video. It's like if I just put my video on YouTube with the 17 million other videos, somebody might find it. Right. Um, there's and by the way, my YouTube promotion stuff is not like video SEO and stuff like that. A lot of people teach that stuff. That's cool. It's it's more um, attract a crowd type of stuff. How to get your company to feature you? Um, it's easy to get your company to feature you, even if you've barely produced anything yet. How to get major players to promote you? How to make? Uh, I always use Brian Cole. If you guys don't know Brian, as a huge example, Brian got 
it's like the every guru in the industry to mail out his name mm -hmm. and image. Mm -hmm. um, he's a pretty smart young whippersnapper, mm -hmm. but Brian had uh, magnetic sponsoring mailed his whole story out. Ray and Fernie, uh, SEO networker. Uh, nailed out his whole story. Mark Hoverson. Mark Hoverson not only nailed out his whole story, but did a webinar with him and made him ten thousand dollars. There you go. <laughs> and the kid, and the kid had never made a lot of money before, and all of a sudden he has this big guru put in front of his whole list, uh, making ten thousand dollars in like a couple of days. So um, major stuff, and much, much more. So now, what? I, I don't know what my next slide says, but. A lot of people have gleaned some of these tips from me here and there, and if you've taken different courses with me, um, you know you might have some of them. Like somebody like Kathy has a lot of these tips. There's six hands-on workshops where I showcase that. Oh, so what you're getting is six modules that are recorded. Okay, six modules that are recorded. They come over six weeks, but then for the people that got it at Ray's event, and if you get it tonight, if you want it. Um, six hands-on workshops where I showcase studies and take questions um, and that you can talk and ask questions. Um, not you write them in the box. You talk to me and ask questions, like, like verbally. <laughs> like <laughs> you say words and I say words, not, not you type things and I say words. And then I don't understand what you were asking in the first place, and then you sit there for a half an hour typing in the box more, going, you didn't understand my question. No, 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 no. really talking. Um, so it's pretty cool stuff, and you know, uh, also a Facebook group for seven-day week support. But it's the first time I've ever put it all in one place and recorded it all and gone through all of this. Mm. And lots of people have taken classes, like we just wrapped up my summer school. That was a $500 class, and we have this class, and we have immersion, and we have this. You know, there's the, they're all 300, 500, a thousand people have come to my seminars and they pay, and they've they've paid thousands to get this stuff, but they had to piece it all together. Because uh, I gave one technique, I'm putting all my my promotion stuff in one place, and they range from "Wow, that was simple" to uh, "Wow, that's fancy," to "Wow, that's crazy," cockamamie. Some of them are just cockamamie stuff. Um, cockamamie stuff works, guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a, you know, it, it, crazy stuff, fun stuff outrageous stuff works. I mean, all you got to do is look at David Wood, uh, for those of you that know David. Uh, David's the most outrageous marketer ever. I mean, he literally just did a naked interview with Jonathan Budd. Both <laughs> of them were naked. Now, I don't think they really were down below, but they wanted us to believe they were naked. And he billed it as the naked interview. And when I, I, I listened to it, and, I start, and I'm working with David Wood on this big launch for Jay Budd. I'm on the team with him. And so I'm like, okay, it's just a play on words. It's going to be something funny. It's like naked and raw. No, they have no clothes on. Now, who else would do that? <laughs> and Eric was shaking his head, Kathy. I said something about the naked interview, and Eric was just like, I don't even know what to do with him. Um, <laughs> Eric's, so straight. Eric's like a suit. You know, Eric is just a suit boy, and, he's, mm -hmm. and, and his partner in crime is over here naked. So, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> Do crazy stuff works, and when like I think that Bob putting up the cucumber today was brilliant, and I'm gonna have a run on the cucumber because um, the cucumber, well, it's, it's magnificent. It is. <laughs> it is. Um, it's a pretty good cucumber. <laughs> here's what's cool about these. They're all easy to do. Most cost absolutely nothing. They require no technical ability. These techniques range from beginner to advanced. The, the ones that are advanced is because some of them are psychologically advanced. You know, you really kind of have to understand your prospects to execute them. But you, you can begin to use them all right now. You know, uh, most courses of this caliber run around 997. And once you get them, and this is the thing, most courses you get them, but then you need to buy a lot more stuff to be able to use them. You know, you got to buy this, you got to buy an autoresponder, and you got to buy this, and you got to buy plugins, and you got to buy whatever it is that you're doing. This is, um, you know, you, it's all free media. My whole business has been based on free media. Mm -hmm. I love free media. Mm -hmm. um, it's wonderful stuff. Because mm -hmm. that's where the eyeballs are. Yep. I like to go where the I bet I go where the people are already. I wrote the other day. It's a lot easier to sell stuff to people that are already going to buy it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, like yep. uh, if, if you already know that the people are already buying something, and then you just get in front of them, they're going to buy from you. Well, it's the same thing here. The media, you like YouTube. There's like just millions of people lurking around over there. 
So if you use some of my secrets, what happens is you become the go-to person. You can do it very quickly. And all of a sudden, everybody knows who you are. Kathy, you experienced this. The first time you went to something and you walked in and everybody's like, mm -hmm. oh, my God, you're Kathy Heath? Yep. And you were, yep. like, and you were like looking around like, me? Yep, I know. It, it's, it's stunning when it happens the first time. And then when it happens again and again, you're like, holy cow, you know? Yep. Um, and then you get to a big event, and all of a sudden everybody's swarming you and hugging you and kissing you, and it's like, whoa. Yep. So. I know. It's, it's, it's amazing stuff. It really is. It really is, and it's fun. That's the most important thing. Absolutely. So, so and here's the cheesiest slide of all, ready? But with this course, you get six modules of pure gold dropped into your inbox over the course of six weeks, and each and every week you will glean ideas and tactics you can use right, uh, right away. No additional costs and no setup. Just marketing magic. <laughs> I love it. How good is that, Kathy? <laughs> that, that, that is, is good. That, that is, is good. like, it's, 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 well, I want to read it again. It's so good. But with this <laughs> course, you get six modules of pure gold dropped into your inbox over the course of six weeks and each and every week. You can, uh, you will glean ideas. Glean, glean. What a word. Glean That's a great ideas, word. Great word. Right away. Great no word. additional cost and no setup. Just marketing magic. Live from k <laughs> I'm, I'm aging myself again. Mike and wants I priced it so that you can all access it. All right. <laughs> oh, Diane. Mike wants to know if that's Swiss or cheddar cheese. <laughs> no, no, they don't know my. They don't know about my Swiss cheese and cottage cheese lesson. No, they I'll don't. They don't. Too. Swiss cheese. Who brought? To, somebody came to me the other day talking about Swiss cheese and cottage cheese. Oh, Robin Lamar. Because I did Swiss cheese and cottage cheese at the first Ray Higdon event in January. Oh, gotcha. So, um, uh, so this is this is what I tell people whenever somebody takes uh, courses and things with me. I tell them take a module, and if you go through the one module and you are not one hundred percent sure that this thing will make you money, um, cancel it and I'll refund you on the spot. <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously, it's like um, what did I do the other day? I, the other day, one of the girls who got the um, the deal I did with the coins, Kathy, and uh -huh, bought uh -huh. them got a, a packaging. Ship. Yep. I took her. I took her her story and I just like twisted her around and, and made it like incredible. Like she was crying. It was so good. Mm -hmm. Um, and she was like, "Oh my gosh!" I said, and I said to her, "I said, D are you happy? Do you think that this will make you money?" She goes, "This can make me rich." And I said, "Then it's yours. Go use it." Uh, and that happened also with um, uh, today. Tonight I had a client, and he's an offline direct response marketer and wants to learn how to bring his skills online. And I showed him in an hour. We realigned his whole marketing, and I created this whole thing for him. And I showed him, and I said, do you get it? And he went, oh, my gosh. And I said, because you have to understand the concept so we can build this thing. He went, and he was, he was like, no wonder why you guys like this Internet thing. <laughs> Because he was like advertising in full-page ads and then talking yep. to all the people. Yep. So we automated for him. So this is the same thing. If you take one module and you don't see how it can make you a lot of money and certainly a lot more, you know, 10 times, 20 times, 100 times over what it costs, um, you should cancel. Um, so, again, it's, it's over at promotionprofitmachine.com. There's no presentation there because it, that, that site was only for people that saw the presentation on the live stream. If any of you guys want it, you're welcome to it. Go get it. It's not going to be fancy in this presentation. The presentation that you guys get, like when I give out the videos and stuff, it's not going to be all fancy with graphics around it and everything and as slick as it would be when we vamp it up. And I can't guarantee MLSP is going to want to promote it, but I know they will. Um, I've already talked to Brian of those guys about you know, up doing a product for them and everything. This is what I'd like. It. Be besides, the name is just so hot. Promotion, prop chain. It's a hot name. Um, it's a hot name. So I like it. The interface here will not be as sexy as it will be later, and there is no affiliate program for you to promote it just yet. On the flip side, people who get it now will totally know what it is, so they're going to have a head start when it does launch because you'll be able to, you know, you can give testimony, we can use, them in, use you in the marketing, you'll look like you're knowledgeable about it, et cetera, you'll make more sales. Um, and then the other thing is what I did for people because I wanted to give them an extra bonus. Um, and some of you guys have this. If you have this, you can have something else. I don't know. Um, for people that got it, um, 
I threw in uh, six of my best-selling CDs in MP3 format, uh, $147 value. Um, if Vanessa Duplessis does, does refer to she calls me all the time and she like starts reciting from my CDs because she loves them. If you guys don't know Vanessa, she is running the whole coaching program for Jonathan Budd for futuristic marketing. She runs coaching for Dagan Smith. The girl knows her stuff. She's addicted to my CDs. I'm not afraid to say it. So we're throwing those in. If you wanted this, but you already own this, because I did a crazy deal for my birthday, and if you're loyal and had that, I'll find something else for you. I'll give you something. I don't know what. But anyway, um, bottom line is remember, who owns the eyeballs makes all the money. Yeah. Isn't it your time? Okay. And what I want you guys to do, I, I, I'm showing you the presentation so I could do the lessons with you, and I'm doing this very tongue-in-cheek because I didn't want you to feel like I came down tonight for me to give you a big pitch. Some of you guys have been loyal fans. You're really into my marketing stuff. You want it. Great. The rest of you guys, I want you to really understand how easy it is. If you're a promoter, how much fun you can have. And it doesn't have to feel like a big push, a big, you know, a big shtick. Um, I, I sold, what was that, three things tonight or four mm -hmm. things tonight? How many things did I sell tonight? Three? Three. Three. You know, I talked about, I talked about, Yep, the meeting with the masters link here, or the front post here, meeting with the masters, which is futuristic marketing. I told you about Evan Pagan and his product. Um, I only mumbled about that because I did a whole webinar on it a couple weeks ago, but I mumbled because it closes tomorrow. It's the last chance to get it, and it's the last chance to get a whole day consulting with me for free, uh, which is pretty crazy cool. Um, and then I presentation, but I did it kind of fun because I was showing you what I was teaching, but at the same time I showed you the whole presentation, so I showed you what I sold over the weekend. Um, so we all can walk away feeling good. If there's something in there that strikes you or you're interested in it, great, or ask me questions or whatever. But if not, hopefully you learn some stuff. That, that, the thing about um, everything is exotic, a lot of people think that that's nothing. That tip is everything. Yes, that it is. tip can make mm -hmm. you more money. And people yep. are like, I don't get how it makes me money. If you train people, it's like your dog. You train them with a treat to behave. You train them with a treat to behave. You train them with a treat to behave. So that way, when it's the time comes that you need them to obey you, they obey you. Yes. It's the same thing here. You're training people to look at you, look at you, look at you. You're interested, you're interested, you're interested. And then when you want to promote and you want to do your pre-promotion, promotion, and post-promotion, they're already trained to look at you. That's how I get so many people on my thread. That's how I get so many people talking about me and tagging me so that I'm all over the place. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really that simple is that I'm exotic and I make everything exotic so that when the time comes that I want to spin something and I want buzz, I can get it super easy. You can't just get spin and buzz on the day that you need it. You have to pre premeditate it all and you have to prompt the people to respond to you. Yep. So I hope you guys get that. I'm going to go back over here. Oh, gosh, it's 1018. It's very late. You've got I'm to show, sorry. Diane, you yeah. have to show the picture of the cucumber you promised. Oh, yes. You're right. I want to see if anything wrote over here before I go back over there. Okay. Um, or did Bob put the cucumber? Did, oh, that's the Armenian cucumbers. Okay. Do they taste good, Bob? I don't know. Did anybody else say anything or ask a question? Let me see if Sean said anything. Okay. They're just saying you're here. Okay, so nobody's asked me a question or anything relevant. They just are hanging out. Let's find the cucumber. The cucumber is definitely here. Cucumber, come out, come out wherever you are. Where'd it go? I'm just going to go to Bob's. I don't know, maybe it was lower down. Maybe. While you're looking for the cucumber, yeah. Val wants to know, how do you train yourself to be cockamamie instead of serious all the time? Well, in, in, in your off hours, do you like to have fun? I mean, do you, you know, if, you, if you're serious, then you should, you know, you're pretty serious. Um, here it is. There it is. There is. Duke, can you see it? Um, oh, wow. That's, wow. that's some cucumber. I mean, that's an impressive, impressive cucumber. Wait, there's another shot. This is what Rosemary's smiling, so we want that one. That is an impressive, and what I think is interesting is, like, 
and Bob's story, the way he wrote it, was like she's out in the garden, it's the crack of dawn, and she starts screaming about the cucumber. It probably grew really fast all of a sudden, because obviously she would have known if it was getting that big, you know. Um, I, I don't know, but it's a sneaky cucumber. Yeah. That, my friends, is serious cucumberage. Whoops. Serious cucumberage. So how do you train yourself to be cockamamie? You don't have to be cockamamie, but that picture right there is, is eyeball-catching, period. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, and this is just their normal life. Um, you know, what, what do you have? Do you have a baby with spaghetti sauce smeared all over them with a big grin on their face? Mm -hmm. Do you have cute dogs? I mean, Kristen Darkenwall made a fortune on, on pictures of, uh, of freckles and, and princess. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have, um, you know, a, a beautiful view out your window, perchance? Yeah, I've taken pictures of deer in my backyard. I've taken pictures of snow. Uh, one time I had a whole crowd around because there was a blizzard coming, and I would go outside every hour and take a picture and measure the snow with a stick, like with a, a yardstick. And everybody would stay tuned to my next picture about the snow. <laughs> so that's not so crazy, but at the same time, it just became fun. It was the ongoing saga. Um, and that's what happens is people come around to check out what you have going on. Yep. Um, you don't have to be cockamamie. You just need to be interesting, if that makes any sense. Just have to be interesting. Anybody else have comments or question? Ashley said something. Uh, today, Ashley wrapped up 12 credit hours towards a business degree. Good for you. Good for you, Ashley. Okay. And now she's Very hanging cool. out. Plus, she's telling everybody about the Economic Freedom Contest. Or maybe she did. Maybe she's just linking to me. Um, guys, here's something I should promote. Um, HomeBusinessRadioNetwork.com. Uh, I'm, I'm their morning anchor, the Diane in the Morning Show. They have a contest going on. You can win cool prizes helping spread the word about the, uh, about the radio station. So, Ashley, I'm very excited for you. That's good. I know you had a lot of stuff going on and you were kind of in a um, crossroads. So, that's awesome. That's awesome. Crowbar's in the house. All right. Um, by the way, let me show you if you were wondering what went on at the summit. Oh, see, see what Ray's doing? Look, meet me here Friday, and he's putting up pictures of Orlando because he's going to be here. So I'm just looking for the pictures. Spurlock. Okay. Just so you can get a little view. Keeping you longer tonight, children. I appreciate you all. You can leave whenever you want. I'm done with you. Jessica. There's Jessica. Um, oh, this is, this is Dave when he had everybody standing up on a table, and he has everybody charging him, standing around him. It's pretty good. Guy can sell. There's Irway. Okay, that's Brady. Brady boy. Bill and Michelle. I'm looking for pictures of me. I could care less about Bill and Michelle's pictures. Tell them I said so. I'm kidding. <laughs> I love those guys. Curious. They're awesome. We had fun. We were sitting in the back of the room. Well, actually, while Ray was speaking, we were sitting in the back of the room making fun of him. It was so such a good time. Um, it was such a good time. Uh, where are we, where are we, where are we? Well, there's one with me, Ray Jess, which is very nice, in the 150-degree lobby of the hotel. Um, I'm looking for, I'm looking for, <laughs> that's Matt Crystal, who works for Magnetic Sponsoring, and I wrote, be a model or just look like one. <laughs> Matt's like all in his male model pose. Uh, where is it? It's like in every picture in the, in the joint here. Do you have a thing oh, oh, here we go. Though? Here we go. So there's there's me, Tim, and Dave. And for those of you that don't know, Tim and I have a long tradition of cuddling at events. We have to cuddle. It's very important to us. Um, started in <laughs> Las Vegas several years ago. So actually, he probably took down the other picture. I bet you he did, um, because somebody tried to stop us from from cuddling, and uh, I bet you he took down the other picture. I betcha. I'm looking to see if it's gone. Did we go in a loop yet? Yeah, we did. Oh, the other picture is gone. Somebody tried to stop the cuddling, and, 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 and Tim Irway took care of them, but they took down the picture. It was incriminating. So anyway, sorry, guys, you missed out. You snooze, you lose, you miss all the good pictures. 
So, and, and here's a good one too. Uh, me, me, and I look terrible, but me and Lena Bjorna and Ryan Angelo sweating in the 150 degree Orlando night, but we were having fun. And then I will show you one last thing and I will be done with you people unless you have a question. This is my standing ovation. I did solicit it a little bit though, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> I did solicit it, but uh, I, I egged them on to get it, but I got it, damn it. <laughs> so, there you go. We had a good time. We had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time tonight. If any of you guys have questions about the product, do you want it um, so that you can be one of the first affiliates later, great, let me know. Uh, it's promotionprofitmachine.com, or you can contact me at diane at dianehockman.com if you have a, a question about it, if you have questions about Evan Futuristic Marketing. Um, all the bonuses for that. If you'd like to know Kathy Heath's shoe size, um, <laughs> you know the name of of uh, of Tracy Housel's cat or uh, Duke Rompey. I, I want to make fun of Duke, but I'm delicate about it. I just I I, 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 I I'm going to just be a good girl. So anyway, <laughs> that's all the news that's fit to print. Fit to print. Yep. <laughs> yep. What would you say, Kathy? I was just going to say, that's fit to print, and you said it. <laughs> uh, you know, guys, this is Monday night's just my fun. It's like me, Kathy, Duke, whoever I bring over. We just have a good time, and if you guys hang out, that's cool. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's Monday night. Let's have fun. Um, some people go to bars. We do webinars. You know, it's like, <laughs> anyway. It's uh, a good time. I've got so people. I've got people in the in the chat box guessing my shoe size now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling all of you. You're all way off. You're guessing way too high. My feet are little. She's a munchkin. Yep. Tracy, you have little feet too, don't you? Yes, I do. Duke, you don't have little feet, do you? <laughs> uh, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> I can't, I can't even imagine. I never really checked out your feet, but you guys got to understand, this is a tall boy. He's a very, very... You know that a very cucumber picture that Bob has? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's it's about the size of your foot. Kind of <laughs> 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 oh, wait. Did you guys see my car? Wait, before you go. This is my car. I rented a car, and I rented, like, the cheapest, littlest, crappiest car they had. And apparently, they, they needed the four-seaters, and they needed the family mobiles, so they gave me a Mustang. <laughs> So, so I've been like tooling around in a Mustang. <laughs> That's my car, Kathy. You'll see I know, it. I know, I know. I saw that online, and I was like, "Holy!" Cow. Chuck even saw it. He came in here, and he goes like, "Did you see the Mustang?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yes." Did I see? I'm being exotic. I take yep. and and everybody else would think I'm crazy, but I get I I walk out of the airport and into the the garage with the rental cars, and I I pop open the trunk, I throw my stuff in the trunk, and then the first thing I do is whip out my cell phone to take pictures. And everybody all over, you know, all over, look at this, Kathy, I didn't even realize, 60, 67, 69 people liked the picture. Mm -hmm. That means that my picture ended up all over, and all 69 people, all their friends. So imagine if each person, because they're all marketers, imagine if each of these people has 2,000 friends. What's 2,000 times 66? A lot. The answer a lot. is a, a lot. lot. A lot. My picture and my my picture of the car is one thing, but my name and my picture went out to 66 times 2,000. I know these people have a lot more than 2,000. So I was probably seen by how many people on Friday like this? A lot. A lot, a lot. That's it. So did anybody have last words or are we done with them? I think we're done with them, but I will double check. And P.S. and by the way, even though I don't know how to use the chat box during the event, I know how to read the transcripts after. <laughs> That's true. She does. So I um, certainly hope no more questions. that you all behave yourselves. Okay, good. All right, guys. That's it. Good night. And if you want the product, it's Promotion Profit Machine. Otherwise, wait. And you can get it from MLSP. I don't know what you're going to get over there. You're certainly not going to get the bonusy things. So, uh, And there's Michelle Nelson Mock, who I saw this weekend. Who do her? So I will see you guys <laughs> next. I saw her this weekend. Her daughters were there. They were so cute, Kathy. Very good girls. You know who I saw this weekend, Kathy? Dean and Mary Black. And Did you? Kids. I just love those two. Yeah. They're fabulosity. Yeah. They're good. Yep, they're, yep. they're good.
Good peeps. All right, I'm uh, out of here. Uh, Duke, I, I always want to call him Dukela, and he gets mad at me. I know I call he does. Him Dukey, which is just as bad. Probably worse. Um, <laughs> I'll be on Skype. Give me like 10 minutes or so if you're looking for me. All right. Okay? All right, the rest of you people, I won't be on Skype, and I, you won't be able to find me. So. <laughs> okay. What's your Skype name? It's Griselda Schmuckaba. <laughs> okay. There you go. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later next week, okay? Okay. Take care. And if you want to join my MLM, call me. How's this all go? Whatever's the line, whatever, this may be crazy, but here's my number. So call me, baby. <laughs> now, I, that's what I'm going to do, Kathy, this weekend. Let's make a let's make a call me, baby knockoff video like everybody else on the face of the earth has. Okay. We'll, like, run around. <laughs> I have an MLM. This may be crazy, but here's my number. So call me, baby. There oh, you yeah, go. We're making it. We're definitely we're making, making it. it. Definitely. If you're in our, if you are in the Orlando area, you you know you want to come see us this weekend. So call me. Absolutely. Absolutely, right. we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. Mm -hmm. All right, ciao, Bellas. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay. Good night, Diane. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody.